It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For the last few years, I keep hearing about this idea of diversity, whether it's like diversity in workplace, or diversity in media, or diversity in politics. Every single last kind of field that I know of right now always have a talk about diversity. Now, for the most part, I agree that diversity, when it's organic, of course, is really good because basically I believe honestly that people should hire other people based upon their merit. If people happen to be black or Asian or whatever, that's fine also if they actually are hired by their merit. And I also think that, of course, organic diversity for media is also good because, of course, characters who are good, who are well written, and happen to be minorities, happen to be great characters all the time. And so naturally, I don't have against anything against the concept of diversity. However, for some strange reason, we have been experiencing a phenomenon where any kind of, you know, drawing or whatever of representation of somebody else is considered to be cultural appropriation. Now, what is this idea of cultural appropriation? Basically, in other words, like cultural appropriation is the idea that if you were to take someone's culture, you're actually not really appreciating it, and that's stealing according to them, which is so strange. And for this video, I'm going to talk about a Japanese artist who fell victim to this sort of outrage mob. The person I'm going to talk about is a Japanese artist who had been depicting Native American art, and of course, a lot of people were not having it. Who the fuck tell you this was okay? The amount of racism and cultural appropriation in all your work is disgusting. Reminder that the Japanese are settlers who have been participating in indigenous genocide for a long time against the people of the islands they settle. This is kind of gross appropriation, it's just par for the course. This is cultural appropriation. You need to listen to the native peoples in your comments. Wow, this is racist and cultural appropriations. All your artwork are full of appropriation and fetishism. Listen to the native people in your replies and delete this. It's the fetishization of a culture and the stereotypes are incredibly racist and something native people fight to this day. Headdress, the paint, the red skin, everything is incorrect. And then we have the attractive characters displaying it all. I saw this person's art, a Japanese person's, whose entire feet is appropriate art of various indigenous people for the first time today, and I'm glad that it's so many people who are criticizing them, as it seems as though they're doing this for a while now. This is not okay or appropriate. Hey, to anyone out there who thinks this is okay, it's fucking not. This is truly disgusting. If you can't learn to be fucking normal and not fetishize us in any way, then you have no reason to draw this shit at all. No excuses. So, this is a hell of a racist and not okay. I also love how this artist is just annoying people who are rightfully pissed about this. To all the non-indigenous Latinos saying that there's nothing wrong here, go to the colonized product somewhere else because we all know you want to be Spaniard so bad. This is cultural appropriation flat out. And his entire account shows it's simple. Now it can go on for days and days and days just reading every single last comment, but it would be like a really, really, really long video. But this is like a tiny sample, a really small sample of what the artist is receiving on a daily basis just because he drove some sort of Native Americans. And obviously, the artist himself or herself, I don't know who, what kind of gender that person is, said this on Twitter, and I'm gonna read it out loud for you guys. I read the various comments about my work in the last few days. Thank you so much. I have a lot of things on my mind. I don't want to be misunderstood as annoying you, so I'll write about it here. I am in Japan and have only been recently aware of the concept of cultural appropriation. I need to think more deeply about this issue, and I don't think it's appropriate for me to mention this, so I'll leave it to your values to conclusion. I apologize in my knowledge and expression of Native American, but I'm positively trying to get to know them better. I read the detraction not from internet knowledge. Their experiences and historical facts here that are very informative. I generally love their culture and will continue to learn and study their expressions so as to not to be disrespectful. 
I really hate it that there are like so many people on Twitter who are hating this artist just because he drew Native Americans. And honestly, when I see every last drawing that he has have done, I have seen nothing disrespectful at all about the Native Americans that are depicted. As a matter of fact, it's like Native American plus anime style. And to me, that looks pretty cool. And honestly, I have no idea why so many people are just offended by this sort of artwork. As a matter of fact, it was actually celebrating the concept of diversity, that there are people who are different than us. And so, by trying to show your personal appreciation to diversity, you get this sort of crap. Like, if I was the artist, I honestly don't know how to deal with this kind of stuff. I could probably just, you know, just block people, sure, but like, the idea that there are so many people who are upset about, of course, this sort of artwork really shows their priorities. It's the same thing for sexy women. Like, every single time there is some sort of sexy woman who probably have larger-than-life boobs or whatever, they get really, really upset and really pre -tentical. When there's some sort of diversity, they cry for diversity, right? But every single time someone tries to depict diversity, it's cultural appropriation. And so, I honestly have no idea how these people function. Like, I try to, you know, not make straw men of my enemies or, like, my opponents, whatever you want to call them. But, like, these kind of people are really pre -tanical. They're separatists. They think that they're progressive, but they really are not progressive. Because, to me, if someone was truly progressive, they're probably, like, you know, encourage this sort of behavior of, like, you know, encourage drawings of people without complaining. They would not actually, you know, complain about sexy women and strong women. Like, these people are, like, Puritans, pure and simple, really. Me holding back from just beginning to draw Jesus porn to piss off people claiming cultural appropriation doesn't exist, there's appreciation, but you're gonna appreciate getting dick from Jesus. Actually, there's like plenty and plenty and plenty of porn that has Jesus, right? Like it's pretty much normal and cherry pickings to actually make fun of Jesus. If you really, really truly want to make fun, of course, of like some sort of religious figure, why not make some sort of depiction of Muhammad? Because I'm pretty sure, very, very sure, that not many Muslims are going to be, you know, pissed off about that and start in some sort of death stress or whatever. Fortunately, there are many people on Twitter who are natives who have been expressing their appreciation of the artwork that the artists have done. And so I guess it's not entirely, you know, completely negative for the artists. But at the same time, the fact that there were so many people trying to, you know, jump on him just because he drew a Native Americans and his artwork is really incredible. It's also kind of sad and pathetic that we're forcing our Western sensibilities onto other people. Because guys, not everybody going to think the exact same thing like you. And it's almost kind of like imperialism in a sense to force your own personal belief system on the world onto other people who don't think the exact same thing like you. Like I know for a fact, of course, when Sony moved from Japan to the United States and California, they started to force their values, their belief systems about social justice to the developers. And that's why so many games that were like Japanese and sexy were censored. And so I really, really hate it. Really hate it when people try to push their viewpoint as the only viewpoint and nothing else. It's colonization in a sense. It's kind of like cultural colonization, cultural segregation, if you will. Because this idea of cultural appropriation is nonsensical. No one should take it seriously. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler